Sven and I are going to discuss the USS Shenzhou. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're reviewing Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection by a company under the guise of Eagle Moss. Well, yeah. it's Hero Collector and it's awesome, which is part of okay. Eagle Moss. who so. owns Hero Collector? Eagle Moss. Yep, it's okay, it's so I'm happy with that. It's Eagle Moss. They're just basically trying to use the Hero Collector name to get into retailers that wouldn't normally carry a part work. Well, that's and fair enough. also Americanising it quite a lot. Well, so. to be fair, the fact that they've gone with this style mm -hmm. with the magazine in Inside. the box, yeah. that means it can be stacked on shelves, it's easy yeah. to do for collectibles. For those of us who have a wall in their house dedicated to starships, you don't have to have the damn thing out on display. You can stack boxes, which is, is starting to become a real option for people because they're like, I have all these beautiful starships, where do you display them? In that cupboard. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, we're, we're English. We have tiny homes. Yes. Compared to the Americans, right. I suppose. Okay, so should we open the big ship that needs more yeah. more space? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I have to admit, I got this as so a like, description. I like the packaging. Yes. Yeah. New style. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big lover of the uh, UFP logo in that particular way, but yeah. Yeah. It's a style right choice. That, it's a style choice. Yeah. Right, so we have their really nice little magazine which says Eagle Moss. Yeah. <laughs> it also says number one and there's no it mention it's, it's issue one on the outside no. of the box anywhere. Ooh, 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 she pretty, she pretty. Go on then, tell people about the nice magazine. Right, so there we go. Um, it is slightly bigger than A5. So significantly smaller than um, the normal magazines. So much easier to have, say, on a bookshelf. Well, possibly, yes, if binders are made. <laughs> Which I'm sure will yeah. be for this collection, because there are a real subscription available for it. Um, so on the front, Class Walker, launched in the 23rd century, length 423 metres. Um, and then we have a picture of the Shenzhou on the front. Um, <laughs> had a docket onto its base few bits and pieces, uh, its affiliation is apparently Federation and the captain is Philippe Giorgio. Really? I don't understand why Philippe Giorgio's in not all in caps when the rest of it is. <laughs> well, it could be worse. It, it could be. could be have entirely the wrong text in place. It could do. Um, My major company doing a, a, a piece for collectors who are known to be picky wouldn't release something with major text from a, a, another magazine in it. No, that's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Clearly. Never. Um, wouldn't happen. Just couldn't. Couldn't happen. <laughs> um, CGI, CGI shot of the ship or even. Um, basically because the, the ship exists only as CGI. There ain't no model making these days. Um, but... Fortunately, the CG message. Really? Is... So they've sent us a box of nothing? Yeah. 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 CG <laughs> we can message. open it and pixels are going to fly out. Fortunately, the CG meshes of the show were then sent over to Eagle Moss so they could do the models based on the CG meshes. Meshes? I might be able to get that out in a minute. Meshes? I've really got no hope. Is it any part of a Schmidt? Of is Schmidt, there a yeah. Mischer Schmidt <laughs> in there at any no. point? No? I hope not. <laughs> this is Britain, damn it. We managed to fight them off. <laughs> Might enough to make me spit fire. Um, oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure about that. Yeah, you yeah. can leave that in. That's right, okay. but for you. That was top quality. <laughs> um, so this is almost topographical views going on there. Yeah, they just didn't put any the yeah. blurb around it uh, because they don't know most of it. Because <laughs> that would be made clear. To um, hey, you leave the technical we make it up as we go along crew alone. They're great yeah. people. And we're a good team. Good team. Designing the USS Shenzhou. Uh, Shenzhou. Shenzhou. I've got, I've got say that right. I certainly, I've only been trying for a year. Anyway, back <clears> to <throat> designing the USS Shenzhou. Um, which surprisingly doesn't mention the USS Mawson at any point. That's because not a lot of people would know about that particular fan club, or that it existed, or that it has a ship, or that the ship just happens to look almost exactly the same as the Genjo. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but there we go. Um, yes, because John Eves uh, did all of the 
design work for starships in Discovery. And he did it, maybe the Discovery. He did it in that classic Battlestar Galactica way of, well, I've designed the ship once, I can use it in other things. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me? <laughs> well, just um, look at any science fiction film from that era and. And yeah. just so you're aware, he did do the Enterprise B in Generations and then did all. Yeah, the yeah, Star he's ships. to blame. Yeah, he's to blame for that. And then did all of the starships in uh, First Contact. Yeah, to and be he fair. He designed the Borg Cube and designed the Borg Sphere. Um, so he did design the Enterprise E. Again, he's class, to blame. <laughs> so on and so forth. Oh, don't say, you know I hate that class. I'm wondering if he had anything to do with the Millennium Falcon turning up in the background. But we won't go there. I've never liked the Akira class ships. I'm very aware, considering every mention that you can get in of hating it, you, you just mention it. Steamrunner class, that's it. End of story. Just Yeah. Why the Thunderchild isn't steam no. Yeah, it's weird that that wasn't one of them, isn't it? It got mixed up. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, getting back to the thing we're meant to be reviewing. Shenzhou. Yeah. Um, so designing the Shenzhou and... Uh, I like it in the blue colour scheme, to be fair. Do you? Turquoise. Yeah. Well, the thing is, there could be other classes of ship that are with the blue bits instead of the red bits. Yeah. That would be doable. Different missions. Yeah. Um... It might be quite modular. They might well be able to do different mission specifics mm -hmm. with it. And then about issue two, which won't say that on the outside box. And then um, that has the, the other ships that were yeah, So, online. yeah, there we go. This is the introductory to the collection. Um, so they're doing as many of the Federation ships as they possibly can. They're doing a few of the Klingon ships, which I won't go in near, anywhere near because I hate them all. Um... But the Federation ships aren't too bad except for that thing, which is just hideous. Um, but of course, it doesn't show the Federation starship everybody's going to want, other than the Shenzhou and the Discovery. Which may well be a special anyway from this. Yeah. So it'd be even bigger. It needs to be. It really does. Uh, See, we get it. very excited about a ship. They've not done so well with their bigger ships. No, quite. Have they actually released any of those bigger ships where the fans haven't gone... Well, that's wrong. NX-01 is okay. The fact that you're having to screw up your face and go, okay, for a ship that retailed at how much? 50 quid. Voyage is okay. But they're both suffering from window misalignment. Yeah. But that's, you know, standard Eagle Moss thing at this point. Yeah, not at that price range. Um, the D had too many. Hours, not at it? that price range. No. That, and that one, oh God, no. Yeah. Ooh, I had to st I have to stay off Facebook for a couple of days when that thing was released. Yeah. Um, My feed just went. Boom. Yeah, and not many people were particularly impressed with the original. No. Enterprise no. Right. So but there we go. Shall we see what's been clogging up my feed this week? <laughs> okay. This uh, seriously. It's funny because my feed has had nothing but the discovery because. Some accidentally got released in oh, the States without the magazine. Let's, let's, let's just rave about this. Ta-da! Yes. Okay, so we have the stand. Mm -hmm. But nothing enough. Look at the bottom of the stand, dude. Look at the bottom of the stand? Look at the bottom of the stand. Do you know USS the Shenzhou, NCC1... Check the spelling. Yeah, ask a dyslexic person, do you spot the word error? Okay, Shenzhou spell. Oh, am I going to laugh yes. at this? S H E N S H E N. Oh, there are H missing. Oh, there are H missing. Where are these made? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> you think? I'm the I'm one no. ship name that would no. be right. No. no, no, I am. I am not going near that with a six foot barge pole. No, we, we're just putting it down as. That was an error that should have been spotted. That's an error that should That's have been spotted. That's an error that should have been spotted. Yeah, I would have thought anybody... And then, yeah, that is an error that really should have been that's spotted. That's not how that's spelled. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's an error that really should have been spotted. Now, should of course, we... the name means divine craft or magic boat, if you want to look at it a different way. But no, we didn't know that. Was I just know it from the space, uh, space program. program. And it was also uh, Shen Zhou was the name of a painter as well. Okay. Yes. Again, didn't know that. I only yeah. knew the name from, from the original space program. So right, she comes. Should, should, should we see what else they. Yes. Should, should we have a look, see what else they, they missed? 
because I'm sorry, but they missed that. I'm expecting the decal wrong. Mm. Oh no, they spelled the name on the ship. Yeah, that had better be correct because it was all from the original. The weight's nice. Work so. Okay, one, two, three. Four. Why are the why are the impulse drives pink? Four. Hang on, I haven't got the. Four. <laughs> four. four <coughs> five. Six. That's the number of errors, is it? It is so far. Possibly seven. I don't remember the Enterprise D version of the Deltas being used <laughs> on the ship. Um, so can, can you look at this while I look for the magazine? Because I think yeah. I'm missing things. So, pink maybe, impulse maybe drive. my knowledge. What's that about? Yeah, pink um, impulse drive. That's either black or red. Come on. Um, the, and there's no detail. In the, it's missing no, the grid system. The same as it, it's missing the grid system from the underneath of the bridge. If you flip it over to the bridge, mm -hmm. they painted it white. Yeah. And it it should have like a honeycomb effect going across it. So we've got misaligned windows. Yeah. And a shock move. Wow. Um, it's missing paint from the main deflector dish. It's yep. missing paint from behind the main deflector dish. Well, there's some purpliness going on, but it's not in the right place. What? Where? There's the. Then there. No, there's. No. No. Gee, is it painted on one's nose? They're missing the both. windows. They're missing the windows from this section there and yeah. this section here. And they'll give it a weird yellow effect instead of being purple. Mm -hmm. It's purple. Um, there is a shocking join point in it. Is it possible that those pennants which have the Enterprise... The, the ones that don't appear in this? Yeah, that, yeah. that have the next gen... Logo. Could it, could it be that they've been squished out and there should be a circle behind them rather than an oval? It doesn't appear in the magazine. It shouldn't be there anyway. It right. appears on the front cover art that has a picture of the ship. It, it doesn't appear. Doesn't appear in the CG renderings of the ship. Right. So, so that's wrong. I don't recall seeing it at any point whilst watching them. Yeah, it shouldn't. It shouldn't have the pendants on at all. Okay. Can you oh, explain? Oh no, that's it there. Okay. All right, fine. Six, six errors. Can you explain to me why there were two walking great bar points in there? I know that they're there from a model making point of view to to hold it together. Well, yes. But they're not in that gap. Yeah. Gap. Well, that's basically from a model making point of view, isn't it? Yeah, but, but I'm sorry. It's a big enough there. model. It's a big enough model that they could have hidden that. Yeah. I mean, you've got. One holding the main drive to the mm -hmm. bottom plate, and then one each holding the um, Nestel struts in, which from this angle at the front looks horrible. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. we've got the usual misalignment. We've got pennants that okay Debatable. on some models and some of the CG shots, but I don't recall seeing they don't the look shot. right because they look mm -hmm. next gen. Yeah. So why are they there? Um... Yeah, um, um... Okay. So those are definitely negatives. Yeah. Let's go for the positives now. The paint job is gorgeous. Yeah, where, where it's correct. Yes. There's lots of little bits of detail in it. Mm -hmm. I love the amount of detail in the nice house. I don't actually yeah. remember being that level of detail in the ones I saw on the show. Obviously they were, but they were dark and hidden by things yeah. exploding. So, from that point of view... Uh, I know what you paid for this, but what's the actual retail meant to be? The recommended, well, the suggested retail price is thirty four ninety nine. Um, that doesn't sit right. I would okay, say I, I can't see that being very mm. popular. I mean, the weight's nice. Yeah, mm. it's got metal in it. Mind you, see, yeah, people go on about that. I, it's, it's nice. I don't really care if they're made out of plastic as long as they look right. The problem is, is plastic's easier to get the finer detail on anyway. Yeah, and so. the, the detail is really nice yeah. on this. Those errors just really yeah. niggled me. Yeah, I'll tell you why those errors niggled me, because the rest of the detail, it's, it's obvious all the way from there that this is an incredibly detailed model, and then you get to it and go, well, why is that wrong? Why is this wrong? Why is that wrong? Yeah. I mean, the underlying detail is all there except for a bit of gridding. 
Except for the gridding, which yeah. Which I assume they've done to make it easier to deal with in the factory. But um, the painting, the painting that is there is great. But there's a couple of bits of painting where the wrong colour has been applied, and there's daft places where it's missing. Yeah. So the circle around the main deflector, the main deflector should be there. Um, I'm writing. Am I writing? Thinking that the buzzer drum scoop should be coloured. Yep. Um, so that's annoying. But yeah, but then you you've got the question of thirty five pounds at retail. Really? Mm, I'd say twenty five. Yeah, twenty five pounds. You know what? Well, that's you know where... what? I'd go thirty. Uh, twenty five, thirty, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I would say twenty five because that's where I think the specials should be, and, that, and that, it's a special sized ship. In my in my estimation, okay. Um, I would never ever pay thirty five for this, let alone whatever silly prices they might be going for when people aren't paying attention. Um, yeah, from what I understand. But um, yeah, because lots of people didn't know they were going to release these, really? and then went, "Oh my! Oh yeah. How do they miss it? I don't understand." Unless you are a f okay, if you like Discovery, but you don't collect Eagle Moss ships. How would you know? They've been advertising it on, on, on Facebook and they've been advertising it in other places as well. It's been I think, think that might be targeted advertising because I've seen no advertising. Really? Yeah. Okay. But you, you, I get very different I've got algorithms. Eagle coming up all the yeah, time. Yeah, but I, I have a very different uh, algorithm to you. You know my algorithms are weird in comparisons with yours. Which is strange because technically, <laughs> you know that. So. No, yeah. Um, I'm very glad that I got this as part of the subscription. Yeah. And therefore got it for a tenner. Yeah. Um, oh, got a tenner, yeah, every day of yeah, the week. Every day of the week. Kicking myself I didn't subscribe to it as a tenner, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, I wouldn't want to be paying full work. No. Um, scoring is going to be nice. interesting. Oh, God. The level of detail on this is nice. Mm. I mean, so much better than. Some of the others. Some of the other. But those are the ships. A <laughs> tenner. This is thirty quid. Yeah, uh, let's let's view it this way. Ten pound thirty five. Yeah. So great amount of detail. Nice paint job with some errors. Yeah. There's some modelling issues that I'm surprised on the thirty five pound. That was on a ten pound model, I yeah. a thirty five pound model I think they could have found another way of doing that. Mm. Um it's nice, I like it. I haven't got one in my collection. I want one in my collection. I'm not paying that for it. No, fair enough. It gets a... I'm going to have to go with an 8. Mm, even at 35? 7.5 to an 8. Because of the price. Yeah. i tell you what, if we were reviewing this without a price model... Yeah, yeah it's an 8. Yeah. I would say that... At twenty-five pounds, it would be an eight. Okay. At thirty-five pounds, it's a seven. It's a seven. Okay. I paid a tenner. That makes it a nine. <laughs> that makes it a nine. At a tenner, it's a nine. nine. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna stick on my eight score okay. and go. It's a begrudging eight. As as a thirty-five pound model. It's I'm a paid, begrudging it's a seven. It's a seven for me. Seven. I'm afraid, and I hope okay. the discovery is better, though. Some of the shots I've seen doesn't. All right. Necessarily make me think that's going to be the case. Mm. Right. Well, they better not screw up the Enterprise. Yeah, they better. Not. Discovery <laughs> Enterprise needs to be right. That de it definitely, definitely does. Oh, we can have a field day with them. Oh yeah. Right.
think that about wraps it up for us. Thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And there is the Flickr account where there will be photos. Lots and lots of nice and Thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>